Let's go. We managed to get the final gold upgrade for Dead Cell Man. Why is there no music? And we died to the Timekeeper again on a run we really shouldn't have, just because I still don't understand the Timekeeper and how its abilities work. This looks so flippin' similar to something else we had set up a while ago. I'm sorry, I just love explodifying people by running into them. Also, by the way, uh, I'll put this up to 10 so I can at least hear what's going on. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Son of a... Here, give me that blood sword. All right, get over here. Get over here, you've got something I want. You son of a... Get down here. Give me the scroll of power, or so help me, I actually can, like, make brutality work. Kind of, but not really. Really? Nothing's down here? This is literally just a waste of my time? I discovered so many wonderful challenge rifts last night. I always love those, I just wish I could find them. Uh, nothing's hidden from us, so let's just keep going. That's the wrong way, because I don't want to go through the sewers when I'm hunting for the Hand of the King, because I want to actually get that boss killed. I'm trying to avoid using tactics as my mainstay. It's just really hard not to, because tactic... God, I went the wrong way entirely. Well, goodbye to the speed door. Unless the promenade of the condemned is, like, right over here. But somehow I doubt that. I don't need that gold. I very much need to get through here just that little bit faster. Oh, I can see that that ain't happening. Alright. I can basically kiss the promenade goodbye. Not kiss the promenade goodbye, but, uh... It's a good sinew slicer. It's like the game wants me to go tactics each and every single time. Hmm, looks like prisoner managed to get out of prison early. Writing. It sure is convenient finding all these messages on the walls. Lore on a shoestring. The writing here is barely legible. Don't want contaminated out of here. See you again, I hope. The malaise. Not infected, won't die. Left his bag behind him. Must have been in quite a panic. Shine oh, there's something on the shiny pebble. No, I missed it. Oh, well. Well, we made it to the Promenade of the Condemned, but we didn't really gain much of anything from coming all the way out here. Because we're not going to be able to make it through the timed door. We physically can't make it to the timed door. Oh, uh, well. Um, <clears throat> well, we've already got the blood sword and a sinew slicer, so we might as well. I've taken no damage, so as usual, I'm going to keep practicing trying to not... I'm just practicing so I don't need healing. To try to encourage myself to do well. I'm guessing right down here is the timed door. Sealed 11 seconds ago just to troll me. Y'all can freeze. So nice that they just lose... Oh. Spoke too soon, I guess. Alright, what item do you have for me here? What secret do you have for me here? What do you have in general? Well, 
Wolf Trap 3 plus. Nothing here is particularly that great. I don't have anything fire wait. I do have something fire related. I've got two things that are fire related, so. Yeah, I'll pass on the frost grenade. Even though that grenade would have replaced what I've got here in the sinew slicer, I'm not too certain about what I'm gonna go for just yet. <sighs> you have to do this to me. On this day of all days, you have to give me the quick bow. But it's not that great now, you say, because I have so much of brutality. Well, all I can say to that is, you got no imagination for what the quick bow can do. I can switch to tactics. I'll definitely switch to tactics, even though I say it's like one of the most hated things I do all the freaking time. Well, I was trying to do this without getting hit, but I can see that that's just not happening. Again? I just have to make this before like eight. I will definitely say that was completely unintentional. Oh, not again. Can I get up? Can I get up? I can't get up. I can't see what's going on here because that secret is completely garbage and uh, it should not exist. Should have learned my lesson from the first time I fell for it, but no. Well, now I got that death out of the way. We should be fine. And we should be able to try to make it to the promenade door early anyway. No. <clears throat> I'll just go with tactics because that's like 90% of what I do anyway. I really would like to go basically any- I would really like to go survival. But, I just have yet to, like, build anything that really would let survival shine. Like, I know the Frost Blast doesn't do a lot of damage, but I'm probably going to get a Tactics and Brutality mixed item that will be just as good as a pure Brutality item. Not to say that Brutality just doesn't cause a ton of DPS anyway. Alright, shop, what do you got? That's decent enough as is. Anything that generates toxic clouds, always fine by me. Someone's groaning on the other side. No answer. Get out of here, you freak! Leave me alone! Food. Who needs food here, anyway? Not I have actually eaten just before the stream started for once, so I'm not going to be hungry. Well, that was a convenient find. Up here is a grenade. We'll take it just to say we have it. However, I only have 30 seconds to find the promenade door, and there it is. At last, a little rest. This build can go two ways. I've already gone heavily into tactics, so I'm probably going to have to stick with tactics for now. Probably. Don't have a parting gift. It works with any non-melee attack. Okay. That's certainly interesting. Um... Sadism is useless right now. Melee is also not that great. Combo is interesting, but I'm going to go with efficiency for now, just because efficiency is so much better than... It's so much better for boss killing. Being sent to the yard, few return, and when they do, they're never quite the same. Anyway, 30 seconds to find a door. 
That's me trying to be cheeky and jumping through there. Might as well take the gardener's key. I have made it to the time door for once. This is the only time door whose timing is actually as tight as I feel like it should be. How oh, this actually gives 51% health? No, thank you. So you give me more health than 50% or 51%, I'm not taking you. So I'm kind of curious to see what happens if I just keep going the exact same one repeatedly. Not gonna bother with that gardener's key because we're not trying to go for this stuff yet. I just want to go for the boss. I just want to look up here. There's nothing up here. It's all I wanted to be certain of. I've already seen that statue a hundred times. I doubt they're gonna change anything about the statue. I doubt they will. I'm surprised I made it through that without taking damage. I could have sworn the uh, timing was just a little bit off from what I needed. So long, farewell, I have no reason to fight. a shop. Well, there's the duplex bow, which isn't bad. I th usually prefer the throwing knife, though, for the effect of causing bleeding. So we'll take the throwing knives for now, even though there's probably going to be a better item later that'll replace it, just because it's my only really good tactics item. Or at least teleporting man can't keep up with us. I'm surprised at how efficiently that was. How efficiently that attempt to kill went. Oh baby, an elite zombie. Oh baby, can I please heal up? dare hit me. No! Wait, what? The other one hit me? How? <sighs> he was in the middle of his attack animation and he didn't die to the trap. Because he was attacking the trap in the first place and throwing knives are notoriously bad for that sort of thing. Alright, well. I would say enough fooling around, but I like fooling around. Go in there with no weapons. I don't even know if I can. Let's get a move on. Eventually, one of the, well, we'll take brutality for now, just because we have a brutal weapon. Perhaps I should have that little marker that says how much time I have left before I can attempt to... Uh, roll again, because right now that seems to be my main reason is I keep thinking I've got more time to roll. <sighs> Probably over the Frost Blast. Just because it deals poison damage over time. And is actually not horrible as a result. Ooh. Something that'll make me have tactics, I'm sure. Now, who am I kidding? Who am I kidding myself? This is a tactics build through and through. Ooh, Rampart. Wow, a lot of rare stuff. Well, Rampart is a, actually a pretty decent find, all things considered. Is that a... 
No, it's a gem. Yeah. Sorry, for a second there, I thought we actually got obscenely lucky. Like, in ways that Brain Boy couldn't begin to describe and just got a legendary weapon to begin with. Like, right now, I want that legendary uh, Fire Blast thing again, where I took quad damage, but I also dealt quad damage. That was beautiful when I had it. To all soldiers, anyone who fails to obey the King's order will be hanged on the spot. Right, well, at least it's clear. You're wrong, lunch through this stuff that isn't mine. That hasn't stopped you before. Yep, they're all dead anyway. Dead have no use for any of their equipment. Hence why I always steal from the dead in any game I can. Alright, to the promenade we go. Timed door unlocked. Well, okay, we have 15 seconds to get to it, but I think we can manage. Alright, let's see if I can not embarrass myself for once. Um, We get poison quite easily. We'll just go with a simple one and just go combo. We can replace it later, because inevitably we're going to have more gold than I know what to do with if we get far enough in the first place. So we're going to hope the speed door is in the very first hallway down. If it is, we'll take it. If it isn't, we're going to have to explore to make up for the fact that we lose the speed door. Really? Of course. Sealed one second ago because it spawned just a little bit too far. <sighs> I, have to, I have to make up for the loss of the speed door. Mostly in form of cells and other things I can gain. Honestly, the stomp is just the fastest way to kill things this early on. Who's making things invulnerable? You are, but you're not important. What is important is this. So we are forced to grab tactics no matter what. Meaning, as of right now, we have no good weapon that synergizes with either one. And we have both, I think, a semi-decent grenade and a semi-decent trap. So really, I don't... Oh my god. Why? Why would you offer me this? You know what? It's expensive, sure. I'll take this over the alchemical carbine, I'll sell the alchemical carbine, and we are now officially going tactics again, because we got the quick bow. And my, what a quick bow it is. Explodes into toxins basically nullifying the primary advantage of the alchemical carbine. I actually thought we dodged you. There we go. A lot of the blighters, if I do say so myself. Like I said, we're just going tactics, because we now have an amazing item already. And any legendary item will be buffed by the primary, so... As always, it's a good idea to dip, like, one into tactics, or one into... It's always a good idea to dip one into tactics, and to dip one into brutality, just for the sake of getting a massive amount of health. That wolf trap isn't worth my time. That's about it. This also makes sadism amazing because, once again, on a bow item, it works beautifully. 
Invulnerability, I hate you so. I know you die already, please. I want to take a sip already. Well, I killed it, incidentally, and put this in the exact wrong location for it to be in, but we'll take it and set things on fire. Upgraded Sinew Slicer, things pierce first target, that's acceptable, and I now have three minutes to make it to the speed door of the ramparts, so we will start making our way there now. The only time we're going to take a detour is if there's something remotely decent in our way, which... Honestly, the Frost Blast is probably going to be a lot better just for stunning people. Alright, we actually made a pretty decent haul of cells, so we'll be able to get the random starting shield from now on, which is utterly worthless to my current playstyle, and we can start working on upgrading other things. And that just kind of gets it out of the way. Um, what do you need? Two more items for the next health one, and then the merchandise categories, which is okay. I want to use, or no, infantry bow, yes. That's one of the other good ones. One that I enjoy immensely by merely existing. And as always, give me efficiency so I could spam these skills. We will heal, even though it's against what I've been saying that I was planning on doing, just because not healing now would be a stupid idea. I just want to see how far I can go without taking damage in the first place, usually. I've never known... Okay, no, I was going to say Stanley Milgram. I was going to say, I've never known guards who are as sadistic as the ones that are described in the little lore intermissions screens for dead cells, but then I remember the Stanley Milgram experiment existed. I didn't mean to get Brutality, but you know what, I can deal with it, because I can use it to boost Sadism later when I eventually rebuy my mutations, because combo is nice, but isn't good enough for boss fights. Electric Whip. <sighs> it, the Electric Whip really needs certain modifiers to be made really useful compared to the other weapons of the Tactics Tree. When it's useful, it's one of the most OP things in the game. Uh, like, don't get me wrong, but as of right now, by itself, it's not that great. Alright, we'll grab a boatload of cells to carry through with us. We gain an upgrade to tactics, making this bow even stronger. And now, it is time for us to murder and pillage our way through the ramparts. Oh. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't actually intend to do that. I intended to slam down right at the very top. Oh, hey, another lore area. A man about 40 years old. Can't really be sure. Suspected infection. Suspected infection. This one was either a dwarf or she was no more than 10 or 12 years old. Let's just say she was a dwarf. Suspected infection. It was supposed to be, it was supposed to burn, but a few things seem to have survived. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, thank you for the cell fodder. Shame about the little girl, but I mean, we've already proven beyond a shadow of a doubt these guards are the most horrible things to have ever graced to this planet. Can I please not have this thing? 
There's a lot of archers who are in this little area. You know, Parting Gift would be a very interesting mutation to try out here. Just, if you're just paying attention to the random things that are happening here, Parting Gift seems like it'd be wonderful. Not a good enough weapon. Like, it would have to replace a Toxic Quick Bow, which a Toxic Quick Bow is beautiful. By the way, no, because we hit the time door. Yes, we had already hit the time door a while ago. I thought we missed it for some reason. Alright, back up we go. Nothing down here to keep us here. For now. I really want to see what the other boss cells actually do. I want to see what a boss cell looks... I, okay, I know what it looks like. I want to see what it does and how it feels. Nothing. Well, I can definitely say that this was unintentional. You shouldn't look away from me. You really shouldn't. How have you not bled to death? Oh, collect skulls and cells from an unlimited distance. Poisons enemies that wound me. Minus 10% damage received. That's actually not that great. What is amazing is a legendary electric whip. Haven't used the frost blast. Quick bow is amazing. This upgrades brutality. Yes, it does, but additional damage near max health. I could re-roll these modifiers. Um, I still want to hold on to the quick bow as my primary, but this is a decent secondary as backup in case this messes up. Because this is a wonderful, wonderful bow or er, weapon. Anything with an absurd attack time is a wonderful weapon to be used. Now, would you look at that? I'm actually going to invest my one into survival here just so I have the massive health bonus. Heck, I can even use this as my primary because it will kill most everything fairly quickly. I'm going to toss up more tactics. That's a shop. What's in the shop? Hot trash. Not even worth my time. One of these areas will have the way down. This I'm sure, and we will find it before too long. Running from rooftop to rooftop, what do we find? Another power-up. This one, sublime. Tactics increase. And this I know. We're murdering everything we spot to and fro. Right, I forget that these things... These uh, items can be used this way. I honestly forget that. like a pastry. Any additional health is good health as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, this should be the Black Bridge. However, as always, I never go down this Black Bridge until I confirm I've hit the end of the level, because the end of the level usually conceals one or two power-ups that I can make use of. How dare you hit me?
Alright, it's nice to know that there is no... Oh, there is a bottom to it. He just died, because he's a little wuss. Okay, so this is the end of the ramparts. I'm curious. Aha! I had a feeling there'd be something around here, and the stun grenade is over here. Curiosity killed the cat, but thankfully there are teleporters to bring it back. Hang on. Black bridge. Black bridge. There we go. We've killed this boss without taking damage before. I doubt we'll be able to pull it off again, but here's a time where I'm going to want to get rid of my current mutations and replace them with something better. Now, what was I working on again? Infantry bow. Now, this can be better than I currently have. I highly doubt it. Um, we'll get the cheap Spartan sandals. We'll just sell them. And now we're going to start working on the final level of the health flask. Yeah, like I thought. They're not that great. So we'll sell them off, gain a ton of money from it. Um, I'm going to reset my mutations because combo is no longer useful. We're going to grab sadism, efficiency, and we'll take ammunition so the quick bow can be used more. We'll reforge these modifiers. Alright, this can suck, but this will be great. I take double damage, but so do my enemies from the whip, meaning I'm going to flip these around and replace what I have equipped. I have nothing to stun the boss here, so I have to rely purely on dodges. However, that's not a bad thing. I'm going to run past him because I get the feeling he's going to do his... Uh... Oh, I wanted to avoid taking damage. I will heal at this point. And he's down. Get me everything you have. Everything you got, I want it all. Oiled Sword. Uh, it's a fast attack speed with the 1% health recovered. Victims burn. You know what? No. I like my quick bow more than this. It's just more powerful than what you're offering me right here. Stilt Village in the Slumbering Sanctuary. Now, real question is, do I want to continue with my plan of upgrading this stuff, or make it so I get more items with the plus modifier? Well, I wouldn't be able to make it happen yet, but I'd be able to start working on it. I think the final level of the health flask, as expensive as it is, is probably worth the most. We'll probably get the quick bow reforged into plus modifiers if I don't find a better weapon to replace it, a better bow style weapon to replace it soon.